right out of the gate, when we started working with the George W. Bush Institute, we tackled some pretty big things. Uh, we started to take a look in particular at what our bench looked like, and it wasn't very deep. Uh, we had, had significant principal turnover. Nearly half of our principals in the last five years have turned over. And that was pretty substantial and pretty scary. And when we looked at who we were going to fill those vacancies with, we were limited because of several other um, components of the principal talent management uh, framework that we hadn't really considered would be potential issues. For example, compensation. So one of the very first things that we looked at was how can we change our compensation to be more regionally competitive so that it is less of an issue when someone is shopping for a principalship, that we took that off the table as a concern. The next big issue was how do we fill that deep bench and, and what activities can we engage in to provide an opportunity for up and coming teacher leaders and up and coming school leaders to really take that next step into entry level and then ultimately uh, campus level uh, leadership. So we started a partnership with uh, George W. Bush and uh, started doing our research about effective practices and preparation, recruitment selection, as well as professional development and evaluation. And we also started a partnership with one of our local universities, one of the top ranked administration and supervision programs in the country, the University of Virginia. And we started an exclusive master's program for principal certif uh, certification. And uh, we've got a group that's in their second year of that program, and we've even given them administrative placement uh, to help kind of train our own. Uh, we've enhanced our professional learning opportunities for our uh, teacher leaders so that they can step into that entry-level administrative position and ultimately the principalship with our guiding hand uh, supporting their work in better succession planning. Some of the other successes that we've had is taking a hard look at our recruitment uh, practices and our succession planning practices and our selection process. We found our selection process to be really cumbersome and very challenging and not very transparent. And we felt that that was a barrier to finding some of the best principals in the region and the state and really being a beacon that attracts folks. And so our revised process is a lot more transparent. We even publicize it because we want there to be no surprises in finding really who the best folks are that align with our values and our, and our system. The third really big success is uh, looking at our uh, principal supervisor role. We totally transformed what we then called level directors, which supervised principals in every aspect from operations to instruction, and really took a look at how we could enhance that role and, and make it more meaningful, meaningfully impactful towards instruction. So we, we changed the title of the role from level director to leadership director. Uh, their primary responsibility is to supervise the principal position and to provide guidance towards instructional growth in the school and really to find ways to move that needle specifically at the school level and help those campus leaders try to elevate instructionally. To complement that, we opened up a Department of Constituent Services to handle some of the, the fires that need to get put out by principals on a regular basis. And that has really kind of reshaped the culture in our school division. And uh, it's an iterative process. We expect that that to be a, a growing process over the next several years as, as uh, this position evolves to be more instructionally focused and really be that strong conduit uh, connecting the schools to central office.